It is 441 everybody. Here we are on a Friday morning, September 11th and uh, starting off on the cool side, I would say 53 degrees in Grand Rapids. Of course, the last few days have been just cloud ridden around here. We're breaking up the clouds as we speak and that's going to lead to some sunshine for today. Unfortunately, it's just a quick little respite from the clouds because they will be back tomorrow with the chance for rain by the afternoon. Dew point of 51 degrees. So, oh yeah, even though the low levels of the atmosphere are fairly moist, we don't have any patchy fog or haze to deal with early on today. So that's some good news. The cool air just out to the west, as I mentioned on the midday show yesterday, starting to ease, starting to mature this air mass and warm up just a bit, even though it is still cool in the 40s. It's not nearly as cold as it was. Uh, about two, three days ago when there were some widespread snow showers across the Rocky Mountains. Having said that, we're getting good radiational cooling here nearby in the upper half of the lower peninsula, the upper peninsula, and also into Wisconsin. And that's where temperatures have dropped back into the 30s. Got some frost advisories, freeze warnings out in that vicinity. But uh, once you get into our viewing area, it starts to get a little bit milder. Big Rapids at 47, the cool spot, but three rivers and cold water, even though, yes, it is a bit cool, it's not too terribly cold as these northeast winds do come at us at about five to seven or eight miles per hour weather headlines. Well, sunshine does return today. That'll be mixed with clouds, but a much brighter shakeout versus what we had yesterday. Clouds will be increasing, though, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And uh, though there could be a couple showers around nearby here, Grand Rapids, by late morning tomorrow, there will be some showers right along the lakeshore, say Muskegon and northward, even by mid-morning tomorrow. But the vast majority of us will wait until the afternoon for those showers to slowly creep in from the west. Talk more about that in a moment. Warmer temps next week as an 80-degree reading, perhaps higher, does return to the seven-day board. 69 will call it for a daytime high today. That comes after a max temp yesterday of 60. Too. Boy, we've just been struggling and these northeast to east winds today at 5 to 10. Maybe we get a breeze to 15 miles per hour. Certainly won't be windy, though. Just ground clutter on the live radar. Nothing to track in terms of any precipitation. There must have been some mist or drizzle, though, late yesterday evening, because when I woke up here this morning, the ground did seem a little bit damp. Nothing significant, though. You get off into northern Illinois and there is a representation on the radar of what would be some drizzle or pockets of very light rain or sprinkles. Nothing big there. This upper level low, though, clear, clearly evident over Wyoming. That's the one that comes our way pretty quickly and brings about the shower prospect for the day tomorrow. Frost advisories and freeze warnings, those are not far away. Eventually, they're going to be in here uh, once we get to into the month of October, likely, but not quite yet. Future track model, this is the latest run of the European model. That upper low over Wyoming starts to develop more in the way of rain showers out ahead of it here this uh, late morning and afternoon. Those will work into Wisconsin and Illinois as we go forth today, but not make their way into much of our viewing area until early tomorrow afternoon. This is on the time code at 1 o'clock tomorrow. You'll notice the rain showers hovering right around the lakeshore, and then those will ease towards us late afternoon into the evening. So uh, probably about 4 o'clock uh, to midnight and beyond. That'll be the rainiest time of it in Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek. And rain amounts could be rather significant. I mean, nothing flooding, but uh, may get a half of an inch to perhaps three quarters of an inch in spots, particularly along the lakeshore. Look at Muskegon off the European model for tomorrow evening's rainfall, and that could be around an inch plus. So that kicks out, though. Then we're drier, quieter next week. No big systems. Temperatures returning to around 80 degrees. Well, Michigan's unemployment.